Chicago, Ottawa, 55-56 next up. Uh, Chicago. Uh, but that's actually bouncing around. It's even money on both sides. There's some Chicago's, you know, close to minus 110, mostly Ottawa, uh, minus 110 right now across the board. So near even money uh, in this game. The total five and a half uh, shaded uh, to the over here. Uh, Blackhawks, you know, 2015 and five. So if you tally up the uh, regulation plus overtime slash shootout losses, they're 20 and 20 this season. That's right about where Chicago should be. Uh, that's a it's an up and down team. A good game here, a couple shit games there, uh, uh, you know, a couple. And then in the reverse order, you could have a couple good games and then a bad game all of a sudden hits this Blackhawks team. That's been their season so far. You know, I think they've got some guys that are capable players for this team in the future. I think Debrinkat is really showing some pro- pro- promise here uh, for the Blackhawks. Uh, just, you need more consistency more, more than anything else, but at least one of their younger guys has stepped up at least a little bit uh, recently for this Chicago team, which is good to see. Uh, and all of a sudden, on the other side, we've got this Ottawa Senators team starting to make a little noise and playing better finally. We know this team's got a hell of a t- journey ahead of them uh, if they're going to get back in the playoff chase. but. They're not giving up. They've had two nice home wins in a row against pretty solid competition. Uh, comeback win against San Jose. I, I was shocked by that. I didn't see much of that game, but I was seeing the scores at the restaurant there in Vancouver, the bar there. And I saw some, what? Ottawa came back and won that game 6-5. Uh, unbelievable. With, with their offense, but they did. And they showed their offense all of a sudden. Six goals against Tampa? Really? They, they did that? Yes, they did. Uh, and they beat the Tampa Bay Lightning 6-3 to uh, in impressive fashion last game out. Did get outshot, but hey, he still put up six goals on Tampa Bay. I believe it was Vasil- Vasilevsky in net two that day for uh, Tampa Bay. That's saying something. That's a good performance from Ottawa. Can they keep it going? All of a sudden, they're finding some mojo. I'd certainly lean to the momentum that Ottawa's got right now, lean to the Senators' side in this game. We'll see uh, if they're able to keep it going. Uh, we've got Alex and Andrew both involved, too, in this Blackhawks Senators game. So let's go to Alex, the resident Hawks fan. What's he expect from his team tonight? You know, this is an interesting spot because it's, you know, you see where the Hawks uh, had been on that long road trip. They come back home, play a couple of good home games. They had a, that game against Vegas where uh, they looked dead in the water. They should have been down 4 nothing in the first period of that game. Vegas absolutely swarmed them. It was way too fast, but they somehow came back. They ended up losing 5-4, but it was a, that was a valiant effort for them. Probably one of the better efforts I've seen from them in the last month or so. Even some of the wins that they've had, they've uh, played like dog shit for the, for the most part and uh, struggled against some really bad teams. But then you look at Sunday, they catch Edmonton off the second night of a back-to-back, a very odd 2 o'clock start time. And uh, they get the 4-1 win. It was a good start. Forsberg looked uh, really good in net, which is something we hadn't seen from him in most of his starts either. So now they go on to take an Ottawa team that, like I said, two good wins. Sadly, I was on San Jose in that, that comeback spot. And uh, they were what, down 5-2 late in the third. Made an a incredible comeback, seven seconds in overtime to win that thing. And then, of course, beating the best team in the league in Tampa, 6-3. to But they paid for it dearly. You look at their injury list. Three guys left that game with injuries. Uh, and I had to refresh it because I'm looking at like these, all these names. You got Cody CC, Derek Brassard, Johnny Oduya, Nate Thompson, Dion Phaneuf, and Matt Duchesne. Now he possibly has the flu. So that's a lot of guys to miss out for a game here. And you got, of course, a lot of teams getting ready for this big break. I think Chicago might be the spot to look at here. Uh, we got Jeff Glass, one likely going in net. He's been a fantastic story. 32-year-old guy coming up as a rookie uh, and playing pretty good. And so I'm thinking this could be a game. Chicago knows they can't take anybody lightly. If they're going to try and make some sort of decent playoff run, which I don't think is going to happen, but uh, they still can do it. Uh, this is a game they got to win tonight. So I'm looking at Chicago at a decent pick price tonight. Yeah, I mean, there's no question when you look at it. Johnny Oduya, lower body injury. Phaneuf, you know, knee injury. There's a bunch of questionables. You're going to want to make sure you're on top of this if you're going to get involved in this game, side or total, but especially from a side perspective, particularly the Ottawa side, because, you know, Broussard, uh, Duchesne, uh, Nate Thompson, uh, all guys that are, you know, questionable for this game. Like Borvietsky on the blue line as well for Ottawa. So there's just a bunch of guys that are questionable for this game. So you want to keep that in mind before uh, and find out what the injuries are. We've got Dana Lane in the chat throwing a fit that he can't swear. That's the price you pay, buddy, for getting married and having a wife and kids. You can't swear. Not allowed. <laughs> Sorry. That's the way it goes. Oh, yeah. I'm going to. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm taking a poll. See what you all, you, every one of you has ha- had a swear word this morning. So I, I'm getting ready. He's warming up. He's just waiting for the right moment to just crush us over the head and pound our head into the wall with a big swear session. All right, here we go. And uh, oh no, Andrew's also involved in Chicago, uh, Ottawa. My bad, Andrew. What are you looking at here in this game tonight in Canada's capital city? 
Yeah, well, Ottawa, I'll tell you guys, Ottawa's been a team that's really been uh, really been pissing me off these days. I, I don't really know what to think of them. I don't really know how to read them. And uh, they're one of those teams right now where I think when you handicap a whole NHL season and you look at you look at a schedule, you look at a team's uh, season so far, you don't really want to look at their entire season because right now Ottawa's uh, averaging 2.78 goals in the entire season. Uh, but recently, they've been kind of known as that team that's very easy to score on, but they've also been able to get put out some goals themselves and their last two games, 6-5 win uh, over San Jose and a 6-3 win over Tampa Bay. So I have to say that's sort of impressive, and uh, I'm not going to really overthink that, but uh, the facts are there. Um, Chicago also has been scoring, uh, and they've actually, actually looked pretty, pretty good themselves. So they had a 4-1 win versus Edmonton, a uh, 5-4 loss in Vegas, and a 5-2 win versus New York Rangers. So to me, they're kind of gathering them st- their stuff right now. The, the chemistry seems to be there on all their lines. Uh, I'm looking for the over in this game, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm not touching anything against the Ottawa Senators right now. I would have a lean against Chicago, uh, but I have no idea what we're going to see from Ottawa tonight. Uh, like you guys said, we're kind of a questionable lineup right now. Uh, the total has gone over in uh, four of Chicago's last five games on the road, but more importantly, the total has gone over in six of Chicago's last nine games and playing on the road in Ottawa. So for me, guys, this should be a really exciting game. I'm looking forward to watching this one, and uh, I hope to see a lot of goals. Yeah, and if you, by the way, if you're a daily fantasy hockey player, one guy you might want to consider tonight for Chicago's Nick Schmaltz. Boy, well, you talk about a guy right now that's feeling it. What has he got? Eight points now in his last six games. Fantastic. Uh, so, and you're not, and you, again, if you're into those fantasy stuff, you're not going to pay the price for him in your lineup that you would for other guys. So, you're probably going to get value on him because he's not a household name but boy when you get guys that are in good form offensively like he is right now there you go those are perfect but he's one of the guys that's red hot right now for this Chicago team uh and they uh I don't know how many chances is Thomas Yurko going to get for a hockey team apparently as Chicago's called him back up uh they've sent John Hayden down uh to the AHL Thomas Yurko couldn't you know stick with Detroit for crying out loud and he's apparently he's not exactly lighting lighting it up right now the minors either so uh we'll see if he can make another make the most of another opportunity to make uh, in the NHL but uh my guess is he probably won't uh, I've not been impressed with what he's done he's had some potential some flash here and there but hasn't worked out for this team so far but uh interesting game to watch I mean and again if you're going to get involved with Ottawa make sure you're checking that a situation with there's so many players that are questionable either due to injury or the flu bug that's rampant through that senator uh, dressing room right now so you want to be on top of that uh, if you're going to get involved in that game Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.